Well, my name is Vivian Hearn, and I'm a patient of Dr. Varmus. Um, I had been treated by another physician and had been told my eyes were fine. And uh, I was concerned, primarily because my father was blind from glaucoma, so it's something that, that my brothers and I really feared. Nobody ever thinks the worst thing is going to happen to them. So when I went in there, we were actually going shopping that evening to go buy a piano. And so we were just going to have the appointment and go on our merry way. And when he came into the room, I still remember to this day, he crossed his legs and looked at me. And he said, you have glaucoma and you've lost your vision, some of your vision. I cried. My husband and I both cried. I was sick because my whole life was centered around my vision. I oil paint. I make porcelain dolls. I sew for hospitals and premature babies. I make christening gowns for babies who pass away so that parents have something to hold on to. And I thought all that's going to be gone. I really thought it was all going to be gone. And he told me, he says, I'm going to take care of you. He says, I'm going to do the best that I can for you. And it's my hope that God, you'll be able to continue to do the things that you do. Now, I had just met him. I feel like crying sometimes when I talk about it. I had just met him, but I knew that I was safe with him. I knew that I could trust him. And it allowed me to take a breath and not see myself blind as my father was. And it allowed me to know that I could continue to paint, continue to do my charity work for the hospitals, continue to read. I'm a voracious reader. I read four or five books a week. And so I thought I could take a breath. And I was so grateful, and I'm still so grateful. Well, when I think about the experiences that I've had with Dr. Varma or the staff or anybody there, you are the most important person to them. When you go, no one else exists. You go there, and whatever you need, they're there for you. And it doesn't matter. There could be 20 people there. Each of us, I know, feels, I'm the only person here. Dr. Varma loves me. The staff takes care of me. And that's how you feel. You feel well cared for medically and emotionally, which is critical. If you know Dr. Varma, I'm sure everyone who knows Dr. Varma knows that he's a brilliant, brilliant physician and he's dedicated. He has kind of a beauty and elegance about the way he treats you. He's got extreme precision and a tremendous amount of focus. When he leaves the room, I hug him and I kiss him. I don't know how he feels about that, but I do it because I love him. Because thanks to him, I can see because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't.